guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 1 of my dad's Seeking Ambition. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is flatter than it was. Oh, God. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do you like to draw a manga? Okay. She's cute though. Oh my god. I think I'm really gonna like this show. See, what do I feel like what it's possibly going to do? We're going to see everything backwards. So when she was a kid, up until the point she turned 18. Because you you start the show with her as an 18-year-old going up to her father's workplace to finally find out his secret. So I'm guessing we're going to see her as like a 5, 10-year-old, whatever. And then we'll flash forward back to the 18-year-old by the last episode, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I also really like this song. It's peaceful. Ah! I'm guessing the mom had to die. Possibly passed away like later on. It's <laughs> an interesting title. <laughs> yeah, because honestly. <laughs> Kid knew you were writing some dirty manga. Well, it's okay. She'll be fine.
There's always that one little girl or boy who'd be like, no, let me go ahead and tell you what your dad does and your mom does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it... Yeah. Well, at least you have fans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Maybe you should have called him and said, hey, let's just meet up somewhere. I mean, he called you, but you could have called him back. <laughs> Why? She's going to be in the house. Oh, and they're scheming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes you don't want to be judged by people for wearing something. God, you are so precious, honey.
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cute. Don't like it, baby. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, don't you have like, you should have maybe like a backup tube just in case. He's like the god of all gods. <laughs>
What was the point oh. then? Oh, you're pretty. Well, let's just help him pray. It doesn't seem like she said his name or the title of the series. So, cool. <laughs> Yeah, I, honestly, you're really not thinking about this really good. Hmm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, God. And these four little girls are going trying to find he made his dad. <laughs> he is literally doing everything in his power for her to go and find out. <laughs> Oh, God. I, I think so. To stay at school. If they walk, they're going to see him, but he's going to be in his regular outfit and not in the business outfit. There's no way in hell they're going to find out in the first damn episode. Hmm? Nah, you in the Starbucks. <laughs>
Yeah, this is a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, go to at least he made it by now. Unfortunately. Mama's done good. He's healing everyone. <laughs> that was fucking cute. Like, oh my god. But the biggest thing is I want to know is what happened to Hime's mom. I'm guessing somewhat after the birth of Hime, a couple minutes later, somewhat maybe he, uh, Hime's mom died. It's okay, I'm almost done, baby. Um, maybe, it could literally be anything, honestly. It could have been a car accident, a hit and run, something, and the next thing you know, Hime's mom is gone, and now it's just her and her dad. Go to... <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Not only with the fact that it's just the same person who voices Gato, Levi, and um, Agaragi, but I really like him. I really like this show. It's just, I think this is like the slice of life I kind of needed for spring, and I think there are going to be a couple of others, especially when they come out either tomorrow or this weekend or the next few weeks, but this is really sweet. I think this is going to probably be the underrated show because I don't think a lot of people are really going to watch this, Maybe because, I mean, I heard a couple of people kind of talking about this on my Twitter, and then some people were, like, iffy about it, but I was like, no, like, I like the trailer, I like the story, I think it's interesting, but honestly, I want it to kind of go back and forth between when she's a kid and when she's 18 to the day when she finds out about her father's um, secret and such, but like I said, I'm guessing what they're going to possibly do is wait. is wait until like maybe episode six to the finale if i think it is maybe 12 or 13 episodes but this show i'm not 100 percent sure i have to check um and then once we get there we see he may as an 18 year old and we see the same thing that we saw in this first episode when he may finds out that her dad is a manga artist but <laughs> that he draws actually dirty ones and everything i think his group of workers that he has with him. Amy seems a really interesting. The girl with the grayish hair, she seems cool too, but everybody else seems interesting. I love the little, um, he made friends. Um, he made like teacher who is also a fan of her dad and stuff like that. It's just really sweet. And I'm guessing more and more people that we meet eventually more in, later on into this show are possibly going to be fans of her father's. And so it's, it's going to be really hard for him to honestly hide the secret from his daughter. I mean, He's done it for such a long time until she's turned 18 because who knows how old she is right now. But ever since she was a child, or really just a baby, just birthed out, happy freaking birthday ever since that day. So it's been a really long time since um, that day. So, I mean, of course, there's going to be a day when, like I said, she's going to turn 18 and they're going to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation about what he does as a job and everything and I think it's gonna be a little it, it's gonna be interesting but I think in her POV she's gonna be like maybe a little happy but still a little unsure because 
as a child or as a young adult, you're still going to have questions that you want to know. Like, okay, well, what kind of manga you do? I do love some of the references that they do, especially with One Piece and the other manga, the Starbucks, the Pretty Cure, even though they couldn't actually really say Pretty Cure, because I'm guessing with references on Pretty Cure, it's a little, like... I don't know, because, like, it, it depends, because there's, a, like, a, a whole bunch of other animes that I've seen in the past that have done Pretty Cure references. I don't know if they can really say the word Pretty Cure or anything, but, I mean, sometimes if you even say it in an anime, it's just, like, I feel like Total Animation's just like, <laughs> no, you can't do that, but who knows. Other than that, guys. <clears throat> that is my reaction view choice episode one of my dad's secret ambition if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode two bye guys